Welcome back to SnowRunner, everyone. Welcome back to Monday Streams. How about we start with that? Because, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, part of that was your own damn fault, but we're not going to talk about that. Also, welcome to Emmer, Russia. So, while we were off stream, we finished uh, to me. Fucking finally. Fuck that place. And Amur is just like, oh, ha ha, you thought you were going to have a better time. No. Now for something somehow even fucking worse. So, if you go look at where the warehouse is, you'll notice there are no ways to the warehouse without fixing one of those bridges. Yes. But to get the metal beams to fix the bridges, you have to take metal rolls from the warehouse to the seal mill. The irony is not lost on me. Yeah, fuck your snow tires. Yes, I know they fix. Fuck snow tires, I have large snow ass... Tires for that thing? No, I can only use my tires. And though I go skating like a motherfucker, I can plow through the snow and the mud. Because I have 60 inch tires. 70 inch, I think. I don't know. I have bigger tires than this. It's not the size of the tires that counts, it's how effective they are. Well, apparently the size of the tires also seem to matter. Oh, yes, definitely for mud. <laughs> Ow. Thinking of tires. Move. Ow! Thinking of tires! <laughs> Maybe slow down? Considering you're about to go into the fucking water. You know, the problem with using a super heavy truck like that is... I can't really come bail you out if you get that thing stuck. And yes, I know you like your trucks big, thick, and heavy, but that means that no one can help you but one of your other trucks. I'll we'll have two dedicated cranes, one of which will be better than the other, and we'll have active suspension, which I still find to be one of the coolest things in the game that you've told me about. Active suspension? Yeah. Uh, it's actually pretty common on a lot of trucks. I understand that, but the fact that I can literally do roll, low rider suspension is funny to me in a heavy duty truck. All my friends with a oh, low rider. Yeah. Hooray! I've made it. Uh, how f how fucking annoying is it? Very. I was gonna say how far across is the 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 sawmill bridge? Because if possible. I could just swing my ass over the edge of it, and you could try and take the cargo off onto the other side. I mean, <laughs> I'd have to get the crane truck out here, but yeah, that's actually possible. I could still make it over there. The problem is, we're going to have to do a relay system in order for me to get... Cause, well, I'm going to check something real quick, because I might be able to just eat down the rock path. Well, good news is, I just need your ass over here. Literally the ass of a truck over here. I'll pull me out of this. I can get down without a bridge. That's the good news. The bad news is, if you go any further forward, you're going to end up swimming. Okay, I need you to help pull me out. <laughs> The water's not that deep. Well, first I gotta get my own truck unstuck. You have got to be freaking kidding me. Death rocks! And yes, I know I've rolled it once before. I'm a special kind of retardation. God damn it, I hate this ice! Alright. Do me a favor, winch over to my side. Thank you! <laughs> right. I would suggest just dropping the trailer. Fuck that shit. Okay, now if you will do the same for the young.
bugger. Hold it still, hold it still. Uh, okay. I'll grab the crane truck. You're gonna have to recover that. I've got nothing big enough to get you out of there. So something that amuses me about falling behind your uh, truck there is the game has all the snow and ice packed down because of the size of your tires. It doesn't know what to do when a truck with smaller tires follows behind because the mud and ice is already packed down. So it's like, wait, these tires should be getting stuck, but there's no mud and ice for them to be stuck in. Well, hello, Shadow. Hello. Also, my uh, campaign operations and interstellar operations physical books have arrived. Nice. To those who do not know, we are all MechWarrior Battletech fans. Well, they are. I am. I am slowly getting into it. He is a. He is an initiate into the ways of the Mech Warrior. Yes. Yes. And he is not that good at it yet. We will get him trained. We'll get him there. But you can follow on the docu series. No, I'm kidding. But there is a, <laughs> there is the Mech. The mech <laughs> We do Mech Warrior streams. Yeah, we did Mech Warrior streams, which hopefully we can do next week because I am not doing. Uh, I don't have any more work on Mondays. Uh, luckily. Okay. Um, where would I get the logs from, though? Logging station. Oh, across You're the out. map. Yeah. I mean. Where else do you think you're going to get logs from? Hey, jackass. I hope you know which song I'm talking about. Uh -oh. I do. I don't care. But Blaze is going to need to know about it. Not really. I'm fine with having some innocence left in my life. Says the man who self-proclaims himself as a... Actually, I can't even say that on stream. God damn you, Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> what, a bad dragon? No, the other thing you commonly refer to yourself as. A whore? You're not allowed to say that on stream, dipshit. Yeah, you, you can get demonetized. Oh, yeah. no. Anyways. <laughs> Ch channeling Jeremy Clarkson for a minute. <laughs> At the very least. And in case anyone who's watching this later didn't realize, yes, I do have a speech impediment. I live with it. I generally don't care unless people make fun of it. In which case, you are a bastard. Okay. Um, gonna have to recover the Forester. Yeah, I figured as much. I figured as much about 20 minutes ago when you were destroying it. <laughs> Not my fault, it's the ice. So the ice drove it off a cliff. <laughs> when it had plenty of traction. <laughs> <laughs> and wedged it between two phone poles. Mills, I don't have a Discord link. I don't have automated which set up. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I have to be uh, affiliated in order to do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't even use his. I would have to set up my own regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Much appreciated, Mills. <laughs> Much appreciated, Mills. Yeah. Yeah, uh, don't follow this channel expecting super competent gameplay. Follow this channel expecting shenanigans and stupidity all right i'll do all right give me a minute <laughs> holy sorry i was reading chat i can't <laughs> no you guys didn't roll me again <laughs> 
<laughs> he did get rolled too. I, as long as I do not move, I am fine. Now come fucking unfuck me, you asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you said that thing never rolls. I thought you said that thing never rolls. <laughs> well, yeah, but this wasn't a natural roll. This got bonked. <laughs> uh, Shadow, can we get a bug, please? Ow. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I only see three of these things. Where is number four? Where the hell did you lose number four hat? Did it clip through the map? I see three on the map, so... Okay, that's a fucking mystery. It clipped... The, the only thing I can think of is it clipped through the ground. So, yeah. uh, You apparently deleted one. Or no. Wait, what? No, they all fell off. Switch back to it and pack your cargo, please. I didn't delete any of them because they all fell off. Map says it's empty, so it fell through the world. Huh. Yeah. Nice. But... Since the new guy's from that area, <laughs> how would you like to hear about one of England's most badass fighter pilots? So, Blaze, what do you think is necessary to successfully control a fighter aircraft? I mean, actually control the aircraft. What do you think you need? Flaps, riders, and an engine. Yes. Uh, how many limbs do you think you need to fly in an aircraft unless that aircraft has been modified? <laughs> oh, Mills knows, Mills knows. Mills yep. knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it, as it says two, you just need your, you need one hand and one leg. Nope. You need nope. your arms, your arms and hands. Well, you don't actually need hands because you can control them with a hook. So, uh, Conventional wisdom says to control a fighter craft successfully, you need your hands to work the throttle and stick and your feet to work the pedals. Pedals control your rudder. And on some modern aircraft, they also control your elevators and the thrust vectoring, but we'll come back to that. So I'm going to bring this guy's page up again. Did you know there was a man in World War II, fighter ace, that had no legs? He was able to pull tighter because the, there were no legs for the blood to run to rush into and escape the rest of his body, so he stayed conscious during higher G's. But yeah, his name Bader, and he was the inspiration for for Star Fox. I don't remember how he lost him, but he had no legs, and he still he still made fighter ace with no legs, and he got shot down, and he still escaped. Because they didn't believe he was actually the pilot. No, no. They <laughs> captured yeah, him I, in uniform. I know, I know. But now, like, he has no legs. How far will he get? being the poor German that had to report to your CO that the fighter pilot you captured that has no legs has escaped. <laughs> Imagine having to explain that. Yeah. Ugh. It's just one of those things where you're like, this this can't be real. It is real. I mean, when I first heard about this, I thought that there was no way in hell. Like, no, this is the plot for a movie. Yeah. And what's even funnier is all of his companions hated him because he was so damn good. <laughs> And they kept trying to say, no, he didn't get those skills. No, he didn't get those skills. But his wingmates are like, no, I was there. He got those skills. <laughs> so, Blaze, I know the Forester is meant for logging, but that doesn't mean you need to have it go and start humping trees. <laughs> so, uh, fun little fact, these metal rolls that we're hauling. Uh, if you ever see some in the sun next to a warehouse, do not fucking touch them. <laughs> Because they will hold the temperature that they were cast in for up to two weeks. Uh, you can quite literally throw a steak on them and it will cook in just a few minutes. You just throw it on the interior surface. <laughs> we keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> well, the good news is the cargo is on the grade. Sorry, the cargo is on the trailer. The bad news? 
The bad news is the crane got rolled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. Could have been like that one time when the truck decided to enter the space program. <laughs> the scout trailer, oh. yeah. Yeah. Scout trailer space program. <laughs> well, I'd say let's call that good for a stream. Yeah, yeah we're at three hours. Don't want to keep playing? <laughs>